You're probably the, like, the least trustworthy person I know. Me? I cannot tell you anything. Why? Because you f you tell everyone. No, I don't. You tell people things about me that aren't even that I never even told you. Well, yeah, I, I spread lies sometimes. That's like a, a regular, regular thing. So you'll sp spread lies, but not honesty. Yeah. The people know the truth. The people know the truth. It's my word against yours who's winning. My my word is no, way more we're... valuable than your word. If we were on an island together, I'd be the one that survives. You would be voted out immediately. No. Yes. No. Actually, I well, could gaslight and manipulate my way out of every situation. You, they probably keep you on the island because you eat so little. I don't eat little, bitch. Don't insinuate that I have an eating disorder. What do you eat? Don't insinuate that I have an eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you get so much hate for being gay. You're surprised? I'm surprised. Actually, you know what? I'm not I'm like, hate me for my bad tattoos. At least do that. No, I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't get hated on because you're gay. You're gay and unlikable, so you get hated on. That's fine up, Derek. You know it's true. No way. I'm super likable. I'm super friendly. You're likable. I'm charismatic. What? You're, you're likable because you're unlikable. You know what that I mean? That is so harmful and detrimental to the LGBTQ community. Or what are you doing to be a good ally during Pride Month? What am I what? What are you doing to be a good ally during Pride Month? I'm giving you exposure. No, that's Stop, dear. My friend told me the other day. Jesse? Okay. No, my fr friend who works at the Starbucks. The Asian one, right? He watched my stories the other day. My friend who works at Starbucks that I always go to told Why me. Why do you have a friend that works at Starbucks? <sighs> Can I get a sentence oh, out? Starbucks, okay, this is my tease, so I'll shut the fuck up in a second. Starbucks isn't letting Starbucks employees put pride stuff in any store this year. Why? Because the anti-gays would go crazy. They need to make like a, like a play on words drink for the lgbtq like caramel yeah, like tapiato caramel tapiato no fame grandpa frappuccino mm. oh, like bottomless coffee like you can buy a thing that's like you get unlimited coffee for a day but it's like so bottom. you can shit yourself before you bottom genius the starbucks that i always go to my friend who works there told me that i am known as like the hot guy who goes there you yeah no way i'm surprised people think you're, that you're that hot me too you look like every other man and also your body's not even great so I'm like what is it what's the appeal <laughs> I think it's my my vibe. I know, I think it's you I think it's you queer baiting, that's the vibe. Does a finger count? Does a finger count? Yes. I've I've put a finger up my own before. Why? If, if anybody if any if anybody ever wanted to like eat my ass, I wanna be ready. Have you gotten your ass eaten recently? No. Never? Never. Oh you would love it. A really fulfilling sensation. My ex girlfriend always said that she wanted to, but I never let her. Because you were scared of being called gay. <laughs> I, was, I was scared that I would have like shit down there or something. What's the, what is it with straight men not knowing how to wipe their ass? I know I don't. You just, I, know how, I know how to wipe my ass, but it's like, you can't always get everything. Yes, you can. It's good content for are you. Guys. Are you attracted to cum? I mean, who isn't? I would argue that cum is very, very, a special niche. It's pretty. <laughs> Mine glitters. I, I could imagine. Thank you. I feel like you have huge loads. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> have you swallowed your own cum before? I really want to, I really want to know what cum tastes like. So you've never swallowed your own? When would I do that? Every guy has. Have they? Yes. Ask the audience. Every guy has tried their own cum. Yes. When do you- I mean, can promise you this. I mean, I'm, I may have tried my cum by proxy. No, I guarantee you were drunken off when you were a teen and you were like, taste test, scoop. I think cum is only attractive to people for like the first 15 seconds. After that, it's- It funny. has protein. I know, but like once cum is cold, it is the most disgusting shit on the earth. To you? You like cold cum? I don't mind. I don't discriminate. Wow. That is so, that is disgusting. When it's crunchy, it's even better. <laughs> so you like talking about cum? I love talking about cum. I love, I love, I think what makes doing this funny is talking about taboo stuff. That's it's, funny to you? I, I took a stand-up comedy class. I know what funny is. You gotta find the point of view. <laughs> That's what I learned. If you need to take a stand-up comedy class, stand-up probably isn't for you. That's not true at all. Really? That's fucked up to insinuate. You know who said that? Who? Jerry Seinfeld. Who the fuck is that? 
People don't want to hear about PG content. What do people want to hear about? What do they want to hear about? I don't fucking know. The new Apple shit? Clearly you don't know. Apple VR. How many followers do you have? Don't drag my followers. Even then, I'm like, why do you have more followers than me? Genuinely, though. Like, who's more interesting? Who's more iconic? Me. Like, you were just lucky you started YouTube at the age of, what, 14? I started YouTube. Back in being cringe was, like, so normalized. I started... Because, like, you were actually cringe. Can I talk? I have more followers than you because I work hard. You don't work hard. You sit your ass there and do nothing. I work hard. I work really hard. I'm a good employee. What does your shirt say? I love fame grandpa and tattooed dilfs. And was that working hard to... Yes. Okay, what do you feel about the unhoused community in Vancouver? What are you doing to help them? <laughs> um, I give. I give. Give what, bitch? Money? I always say that if, like, homeless people had, like, a tap, I would donate so much more. With tap? Like, credit card. Oh. But, like, I don't have cash on me, so I can never give them anything. People are always like, don't give homeless people money because like they're gonna use it to buy drugs. But it's like if I had, I'm like bitch, I buy drugs. It's like if I had drugs, I would give it to them. Or talk about toxic masculinity and misogyny as well. Discuss that as well. I'm apparently I'm a misogynist, so I can't talk about not it. Not apparently. So let's get into it. I'm not a misogynist. Like where does it stem from? I think maybe your father leaving as a child. I'm not a misogynist. Like people say that I give father this behavior because of how I am. I'm just like my dad's in the picture, y'all. Look at how he turned out. I, I but I don't understand how I'm a misogynist. How do you not understand? What the fuck? You don't even understand. You just are because of how you speak on behalf of women. How you speak about women. Why do I speak on behalf of the women? Oh, we've seen the videos. I don't know what terminology to use. If I say... What terminology? I don't... If I say... Do I call... If I'm talking about a person who identifies as a woman, if I say female, I get in trouble. If I say woman, I get in trouble. And if I say girl, I feel like a creep. Yeah, don't fucking say girl. So what do I say then? Just say women. I say women and people are like, wow, he said women, as if all, oh, it's like, you can't, I can't win. Yes, you can. See, this just proves further that you are a misogynist. I've... You got so riled up over a little simple question. Oh it shocks me. <laughs> or talk about your dating preferences. My dating? Love for Asian women. Oh Where does that stem from? Aside from the fetishization I up, aspect? Because I grew up in Richmond. I'm surrounded by Asian women all the time. Oh. I feel like fetishizing them is, is when you have a specific race that you think are gonna be a certain way based on their race. And you think that? No, I don't. Yeah. That's like saying like, yeah, I really like black women because like they have big asses and they can twerk on my face. Wow, you're so harmful for this stereotype, Derek. Stereotype. A like, horrible example. Like, you could have said, I like, I like brown guys because they're like so irresistibly delicious. <laughs> 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 or you could say like, I like white guys because there's not enough reasons, to be honest. I'm actually gonna kill myself eventually because now I can't because I'm like, my photo did really well. Because you're what? My you're photo did really well. On Instagram? Yes. So I'm like, I gotta wait a bit, but it's just too hard to keep serving content, so I'm just like. Okay, what does that mean? Jerry? I wrote that down. What the f what does it mean to serve content? Serving content is just a vibe. It's like, wow, that's so extra. That's so cool. That's so innovative. It's like so fame grandpa core. It's like so me. It's so inherent to my humanity. Serving content. Yes. And it's too hard to keep doing, so I gotta just end my life. Um, how do you feel since you've graduated? Ooh, okay. First of all, graduating was so pointless because so much student loan debt that I'm just like, why did I go to school? How much in debt are you? Like, there's like 22K, which isn't that much, to be fair. It's like average. How much? It's like average. How much do you have in your bank account? The truth is, I have $340. It's not looking good. Even my credit card's maxed out. But the illusion is that I'm rich. 22000 and a max out credit card. Yeah, that's not an issue. That's so normal. For a 24-year-old, that's super normal. I, I bought my apartment when I was 25. Okay, but you're also a cis, straight, white-passing man. I made a girl cry this weekend. What'd you do? I was just being really... Okay, not mean. The, the bit was mean. I haven't cried in so long. Yeah, I feel like you're Can you very... make me try to make me cry right now? I can be really mean to you, but I'm scared. So permission to be nasty? Yeah. Just be... Just be, like... If you could be too honest with me, what would you say? Something about your dad. Is that too out of pocket? So, <laughs> I'm like, is the meth head off the table? <laughs> whoopsie, 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 whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not an insult to you, it's an insult to him. And your mother, for having low standards. 
you miss him? It's really sad. I don't even like know him enough to miss him. Was he pretty? Yeah. Wow. You want to see a photo? Yes. My dad didn't look like a like a drug addict though. What does a drug addict look like, Derek? Quickly. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. This is why I hate men. I hate men so much. Oh, hubba hubba. I mean, I feel like you have more daddy issues than me. Don't emulate like that. I love my father. He's a great man. He's a good man, Sing Stink. <laughs> have you had any shameful experiences recently? I'm not ashamed of anything, actually, so no. Really? No. Does it look like I'm embarrassed of the thing they do, Derek? No, but no. the time you told me that you, like, suck some dude's dick in a parking garage for $5? That was literally a year ago, first of all, but... Yeah, it wasn't even for five. It was for that was for free actually. Now he doesn't reply to any of my texts, but he hasn't blocked me. Like they all get delivered, so I'm just like, "Hey, White King, you up? You up?" No response. Can I see it? Do you want to see his nudes? No. So me and Derek went to an influencer event, and Derek was the most awkward, loserish vibe ever. Like his whole human being's entity was really? so. It looks so. Uh, you were the. <laughs> you're such a. <laughs> don't lie to the people. You you are the. The least sociable person I know. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you don't talk with people, you talk at people. Because it's my room. I'm the center of attention, I'm the main character. So what is the point of these conversations you're having? Are you trying to build connection with people or are you just trying to get people to know who you are? I don't want to get to know them. They need to get to know me. Basically handing out business cards. No, I'm too pretty to do that. My assistant yeah, will do that. You have enough to pay for an assistant, but you don't have to. You don't have, enough, you don't have enough to pay for your wisdom teeth. Don't bring that out right now. Go find me coming soon, y'all. That ass, that ass. It actually made me really sad to think about the fact that you... Are poor? Like, dental procedures that you need to get that you can't afford, so you just have to live in pain. That's so sad. Yeah, it takes two Advils in the morning. I'll let me show you right now. Do you hear them? I can hear them. It's good for dental pain. Extra strength. You know how unhealthy it is to take two Advil every single day? It's not unhealthy. And why do you buy the travel-sized one? I'm poor, bitch. <laughs> that was eleven dollars. <laughs> too poor. Too poor to afford the full size. <laughs> I asked my friends what to ask you. I asked my friends what to ask you, and they said, "Ask Derek for his nudes." For my nudes. I don't. I don't have any dick pics on my phone. Okay, well, show us what you got. The audience needs to see. I have a. Oh, this is kind of old, though. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see this. Show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ew, Derek. Ew. Why is it on the fuck fucking floor? Why is your phone on the floor? Because no one else was there to take it. That was so cringy. Should I brought it. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. That's not what I imagined at all. What did you imagine? How do you take. Are you supposed to take nudes when you're like fully erect? Who wants to see a soft dick, Derek? Don't you want to just take it when you're like halfway? No, what's impressive about that? What's impressive is that there's there's still more to be desired. If you send a picture of your full-blown rock hard dick, it's like, okay, well now I know everything. That is such a fucking man way to think. What underwear do you wear? What underwear do you wear? Sacks. That's so cringe. <laughs> you can't even get a Calvin Klein sponsor? That is so cringe. It's a tiny bulge for me. I've actually been really worried lately that I have like testicular cancer. What? Because one of my balls, it like feels bigger than the other one. Is that one? Can I feel? <laughs> you, you're like my comfort person to film with because I know I don't need to do any prep. Because I'm gay? 